This is the BBC, with the Daily Minutes podcast. Oh no it isn't. I mean this is the Daily Minutes podcast. This is however not the BBC. Daily Minutes English version, December 7, 2022. It has been recorded December 5, though. Daily Minutes, it's uh, December 5. Uh, Let's do something in English as well. Uh, Today is uh, the famous Sinterklaas celebration. Uh, Somewhat notorious, but uh, that's the evening. I'm not participating in it uh, I'm uh, I'm living alone with my cat and she has no awareness of who Sinterklaas is, luckily. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think I, I'm going to do so, several uh, podcasts uh, in the following months uh, in English. So uh, it should be the major part should should be in English uh, the, the coming months. But I'm also doing some things in Dutch and I'm not completely sure. I have a new project that I am considering and I'm not sure whether that should be in Dutch or in English. But, uh, well, let's think about that. Everything is uh, still experimental. I was amazed by the uh, huge amount of people that uh, follow me, fo- that became followers from me on, on the Mastodon plot- platform. Thanks to uh, Elon Musk, who made a bit of a mess uh, of his uh, takeover from uh, <laughs> from the Twitter platform. I stopped uh, on Twitter, I guess, eight or nine years ago, because of the introduction of the algorithm in uh, in the timeline of uh, of the site. They were the last uh, of the of the big uh, commercial social media that did that, and I have. Uh, big big problems with that uh, for example it's well possible and this will happen a lot that if you follow one of your friends uh, only 20% of what this friend posts will be visible in your timeline and if you follow the news this is also the case and there is more, even more damaging because uh, if you are interested in some kind of news the site wants to glue you to the screen so they will present you with more of the same because they know that works and that causes you to be an is to some extent an extremist on the subject or becoming one and also that is bad but i want to make my own decisions and not have that made by uh, some kind of algorithm from a commercial country with not completely my standards and not my culture and so on So that is problematic. So around uh, somewhat less than four and a half years ago, I knew Mastodon and then I saw the interface and I was completely uh, sold at that that moment, at that instance. So I started, speaking of instances, the servers with uh, with Magnetron, (laughs) with Mastodon, the servers are called uh, instances. I'm not uh, too fond of all kind of uh, jargon. I uh, tend to... uh, use that less than other people in the jargon because uh, uh, they call a a tweet, they call a toot with Mastodon and that's quite logical. Mastodon being an ancient elephant does have a trunk so he toots with his trunk but (laughs) no, Uh, I don't think that is funny or nice or even cool. So I don't use it. And, and I, I say my Mastodon server and not my instance. But uh, that was uh, four and a half years ago. I started my own instance uh, that's still on the air and that I still use a lot. Uh, as well as other people do. So uh, that's nice. But I've, been, but I've been quite active on Mastodon uh, because of all the new people following and all the activity that suddenly arose there, new things that pop up, and all since, uh, mostly since 1st November, 
the first wave came in April of people leaving Twitter for Mastodon. That was not such a huge wave, but it was significant. And, uh, well, uh, starting 26th or t October or so, there was a real flood of uh, new people. And just by co coincidence, I uh, introduced my... And I really didn't know. I introduced my Mastodon uh, uh, page... In my uh, in my small item that I do weekly uh, for the U.S. and Canada and uh, in the DX headlines, so uh, that caused uh, the wave to be extra strong. <laughs> uh, but I'm quite satisfied with that. So uh, I, I, until now, Mastodon this hasn't dis disappointed dis dis hasn't disappointed me. So, but um, I have to do some more brainstorming and I'm not sure if it all will work out uh, the way I want and in the amount that I want. But, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to do my best to have some more content because uh, the last year it was meager, meager, very meager. And, uh, well, if I had a writer's blog, I wasn't aware of it until now. So, you will hear from me soon. <laughs> Title music is by Croatian artist Blasco and is published under Creative Commons. Disclaimer, everything in this podcast, including the accompanying material, as a principle, is basically all fiction, although elements of reality may have been incorporated. For social media, I'm on Mastodon. Just search at P-A-0-E-T-E. -E. Deze uitzending wordt opgedragen aan Jurgen van der Broek, voor altijd de Joker van België.